Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another new video. Thank you so much for all your support for recently giving me so 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 many of subscribers and likes on my many of my videos. And you guys have been suggesting me a lot to make a video on how you can learn the cloud computing. I have made videos on machine learning, IoT and all other stuff and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can get started with cloud computing more specifically with Microsoft Azure. Coming up. All right, let's get into the video. So before I talk about the platform, I believe some of you might be facing some audio problem. I'm really sorry for that. I'll make sure that when I come next time, I have a better audio. So the platform that I'm going to talk about today, I've discussed it many, many times, and it's a platform that is built by Microsoft and they have recently launched it. And that platform is known as Microsoft Learn. It's a platform that's totally free of cost you can not only learn cloud computing here, anything that you want, maybe a big data, maybe you want to become a solution architect, you want to learn artificial intelligence, you want to get into cloud-based IoT applications, you can learn from this platform. And the best thing is, it is entirely free of cost. So the link for that same is microsoft.com slash learn. Okay, it's microsoft.com slash learn. It will redirect you to this link that is docs.microsoft.com slash enus dash learn. Okay, so you need to come to this website, scroll down and see. In the section that says start learning today, you'll find a drop down that says select your role. Click here and see. These are the possibilities that you can learn from this platform if you want to become uh, administrator they have their entire track you want to be an AI engineer data engineer and data scientist developer functional consultant solution architect and all that so everything that you want to become uh, more specifically from the cloud Azure perspective you can come here and then give you the entire track but this video is more specifically for how you can get started with cloud computing so if you we'll scroll a little more down you'll find a course that says Azure fundamentals so in most of the cases, any track that you choose from this section, that is a business analyst or data scientist, that track will ask you to complete this module. Now, let's go to this course. Now see, the very first thing that you need to notice here is the prerequisites. It means it says none, which actually means that you do not need to have any knowledge to get started with this track. So that is the best part, which means it's totally a beginner's course. Also, you'll see that once you complete this learning path, you'll have necessary knowledge to take AZ-900 Microsoft Azure Fundamental Exam. So this is actually an exam that is conducted by Microsoft. You can uh, actually give this exam for 165 US dollars. And if you're watching from India, you can get it for 4,500 with taxes, something around 52 or 5,300. Now you'll see. It says uh, it's going to cover cloud concepts like high availability, scalability, elasticity, agility, fault tolerance, disaster recovery. So almost all the core concepts of cloud computing also is going to talk about how you can save your time and money. So this is very, very important if you want to get seriously into any of the company that you're working. This actually uh, knowledge will really help you out to work with the clients to save the time and money. Compare and contrast the basic strategies for transition to the Azure cloud and also you get to learn how you can work with, with compute, network, storage and security. These are the four main pillars of a cloud computing. Coming down, you'll see the first actually talks about the cloud concepts and the principle of cloud computing. Now, what is cloud computing? Benefits of cloud computing, cloud deployments, types of cloud services. So these are entirely free of cost. You see, if you complete this module, small module, you get something 1100 points. So if you're actually logged into the to this uh, platform, you can actually track your progress. And when you come back later on, you can get started once again. You complete this, you come into core cloud introduction to Azure. That is how to create a virtual machine, how to add a web server and all that. Also to remind, I have made an entire video on what is cloud computing and the types of cloud computing. I'll give the link in the description so that you can go and watch that. And maybe then you can skip this small module okay then the next one is cloud services now understanding the architecture of a cloud or the 
uh, resources you are working is very very important this section does not go much in detail but actually talks about how you can improve your app availability where did i go yep how you can improve your app availability service level agreements for azure just some things that you must have at least basic knowledge then coming on to create an azure account now let me tell you azure is not free of course it's paid and if you want to even use the microsoft uh i say azure free account uh, let me not type uh, azure free account they will actually ask you to give your the credit card details but uh, see this one it says you get 12 months of free services and the services that you get is um, much of you have 700 of hours of virtual machines for windows and linux 5 gb storage but for this you have to give them uh, credit card detail which i believe some of you may not have so that is why i believe you saw me googling it already they have another platform or the service you may say that is free for students all you need to have is your school or your college email id just the way you say uh, Ramsey <laughs> from Game of Thrones, like uh, you can say Aya at the rate your college email ID. You can you just need to mention your college email ID here, they'll send you an email, then you can get it confirmed. Okay, so that is something this part covers. So you can skip that. Code Cloud Services, it continues, manage services as your portal. So it's an entire platform, or you can see the entire course that they have built. I really like this section that is predict cost and optimize spending for azure this is something when you go to any of the interview the uh, the interviewer is going really going to ask you because i think you have to face clients and you have to convince them that why you want to uh, work on azure even if you work as a developer or your client facing job these are the things that you are, will be answerable if you work on cloud so cost and optimization spending on azure is very very important how you can work with the azure source for resource manager how you can monitor the uh, scaling up and scaling down how you can work with the security and all that stuff so it's an amazing platform that is microsoft.com slash learn you should come to this platform and the very first course that you do here is this that is azure fundamentals before you go to any of the tracks maybe a solution architect maybe a functional consultant a data scientist data engineer this course azure fundamental is very very important this will take you time there are many possibilities that while you are learning this uh, course you may not be able to understand the entire uh, concepts but uh, they have a good platform once again that is the documentation of microsoft mm, yep you can come here and if you want to learn about web apps microservices azure backup so whatever they teach you here they have the entire documentation on this platform so you can just come here and uh, take the reference and get your doubts clear in most of the cases you will not need it but in any case you also have this backup so make sure that if you're a student watching this video or even if you are a professional you must come onto this platform that is microsoft learn and enroll yourself it's entirely free of cost and take the merit benefit out of it now that's all from my side in this video thank you so much for watching till here i upload videos on every monday wednesday and friday thank you so much for watching my name is Stephen Simon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.